Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jahida and I vlog a little bit about my life as a sex worker and all things beauty. Today I'm finally going to be doing my haul slash review slash unboxing of my Glam Goth Beauty. They had a huge Memorial Day sale and I went all out and got a bunch of stuff. Um, I already own a few things by her. I own one of her diamonds and I believe the name is Cancer from her Zodiac collection. Now she sells um, glitters and her brand is Diamonds. So her glitters are called Diamonds, which is so cute. Even the packaging looks like a little diamond. Um, but I also own this Glam Goth Beauty bag. You probably have seen this. She has a few of these in different colors. I also own the red one. And then I have my cute mare by Glam Goth Beauty. This is her logo. And she has multiple colors in this. I believe there's a red, blue, pink, um, and a few other ones. Um, but if you don't know what Glam Goth Beauty is, it is a black owned business for makeup. Um, the owner of the brand name is Marley. She has a YouTube channel. I'm a huge fan of Glam Goth Beauty. I've been following her for a while now. Um, back when her um, packaging for her um diamond primer was different now so even her packaging has changed a little bit since i first started supporting her i love her and everything she stands for she's into like glamour vintage rock and roll alternative music she's gothic she's a black woman and i feel like we need more representation um for black women that are alternative being that it is very white dominated and a lot of times people think that like black people aren't allowed to be into that kind of music or into that scene um but honestly black people started rock and roll so many things were stolen from black people but anyway she is great representation for black women who are alternative or gothic or into that kind of um music and style and scene and dress that way i love that she um really lives her full fantasy when she creates her looks and i'm super into like burlesque and Dita Von Teese and like old 50s and 60s hair and makeup and even when I was in cosmetology school and I was learning um how to do like the roller sets and stuff like that um I was super into that vintage look so and I love that when she does do her looks on her channel um she definitely recreates that and it's just awesome seeing it on a black woman because there's a lot of black women who were pinup girls and things like that but we did not have representation back then um so i love that and if you want to support a black owned business and you're gothic or alternative you should definitely check out her website um you will not be disappointed but let's get straight into it. I have been holding onto this package with my dear life. It has been sitting in my living room and I have been staring at it like, I wanna open you so badly. Um, but I have been patiently waiting for me to finally have some free time in my schedule to vlog this for you guys. I just moved and then I also work full time and I'm also a sex worker on top of that. I work at a strip club so I work two jobs and I just had a lot of changes in my life recently. I've been going through a lot and I'm just finally slowly getting settled into my apartment so that I can start vlogging more. But let's get into it open her up so let's start with what I ordered a long list of things <laughs> all right so I ordered her liner and the name of her liner is damaged I ordered another liner named apocalypse um, I ordered a diamond and it's called Beetlejuice liquid lip in renegade her liner in rotten um her stiletto brush set um one of her lashes named siren um i got a pink diamond set and that one is called amorex or amoray i don't know if i'm saying that right um y'all can clock me if y'all want <laughs> um I grew, i'm latina i'm black so some things learning two different languages growing up my mom would talk to me in spanish and then also in English. So sometimes I might have a little accent when I say things, or sometimes I have trouble um, pronouncing things. Um, Purgatory um, is another one I got in her diamonds, and that's a black diamond. Um, I've been needing a black glitter so bad. Um, I got another lash set in Hollywood, 
um, another liquid lip in shade Nightmare, another liquid lip in shade Perish, and then one more of her liquid lips, and that is in shade Lucky You, which is a beautiful red. So let's start with opening. This is the brush set. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. So it's called the stiletto brush set for odds reasons. It looks like a stiletto at the bottom. And I love the font. Oh my goodness, Glam Goth Beauty, it says. I love the font. It's kind of similar to the font on her um, mirrors. But I'm going to get like, oh yeah, I got a coffin shaped um, makeup brush holder. Um, one like that stands like this, but instead it's it's a coffin. So I'm definitely gonna drop these into there. Um, so let's. I have my iPad here. I'm gonna pull up each like brush and the name of them. So this brush right here. Let's see. Seven piece brush set, carefully created for you to achieve the most effortless and flawless glamour. All of the brushes are super soft to the touch and feel, weightless when in use. This is a little brush that has a glam range from natural and lightweight to full coverage. Glamour. Wow, this packaging is good. They was protecting these brushes. This brush is a stiletto brush. Wait, should I pull this upwards? Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, whoa, these are really soft. Oh my god, really, really soft. Oh, wow. I love the font. Oh, these are just so cute. Like the aesthetic. Oh, I just love it. Okay. I'm trying to see the name of the brush. Let's see. The platform. This one is called the platform. Perf for all over powder and blush. The biggest, softest, luscious powder brush. Okay. So I would probably use this for my setting powder. Or like my contour I'm not really huge on blush I want to try and get more into it um, I just haven't found a blush that like works for me or that I like so I definitely want to try wearing more of that um, so this will be a perfect brush for that I believe this is a brow brush which I needed a new one of these I had to throw out a few of them um, this one's called the knife and dagger love that see okay very soft i like that and the angle is nice too knife and dagger the supreme brow brush perfect for eyebrows and gel liner all right so we're gonna be using these to fill in my brows oh just look how cute it is what's this brush name this brush name is called the machete that's hot we love that Let's see. Oh my god, the brushes are just super soft. Really good quality. These brushes are shiny. Like, this is going to look so cute on my nightstand and my dresser next to my bed. The Machete. The cutting edge yet super soft angle brush. Perfect for contour, highlight, and blush. Okay, so I think I would go ahead and use this one for my contour just because it's kind of on an angle. You see that? So that'll be perfect for kind of going up and that creating that perfect contour all right so i'd use this for setting powder and blush and i'd probably use this which you can use this for blush too it says because you know blush goes all around the same area but i'm not a big blush girl i'm gonna try and get into it more i'm gonna try and get into it next brush okay this is the pump Ooh, she's pretty she's a beauty this is the pump Okay, this is really soft too. I'm wondering if this is for foundation. It looks like it is. Let's see. The lightest to the fullest coverage airbrush stippling foundation brush. Perfect for all over liquid and powder foundation and concealer. Okay, yeah, this I would definitely use this. I needed a new one of these too. Oh, this one is so much softer than my other foundation brush. I have a few like these, but the bristles do not feel as smooth as this is i'm excited to use this all right let's see i think this is a brow or no a eyeshadow brush and this one is called the mary jane <laughs> i love that the mary jane very soft very cute again with the glam goth beauty logo on there 
in the cute font. The daintiest deluxe crease brush to deposit and blend out pigments and shadows. Perfect for eyeshadows. Okay, this would be really good to go in the crease. All right. And we have two more left. Okay, this is like a flat brush. Let's see the name of this one. This one is called The Kitten. All right, we love. Okay, kitten, come through. The Kitten, the universal small flat brush, perfect for applying glitter and smoking out eyeliner. True, when you do that under eye smoking out or on the corner. I haven't tried that yet. I don't really like how I look with um, liner, um, liner or eyeshadow under my eyes maybe i'm just not doing it right i did it one time and i did really like it that was back when i had bangs and i created this like smoky eye and it looked really cute um but i'm gonna try and get into that more there's a lot of looks like that i want to dive into and try okay so that's the universal flat brush i'll definitely use that to dip into my glitter today and then let's see the okay which one is this one this is not the kitten the wedge all right, all of these brushes are so soft. Very cute. I just love the aesthetic of these. These are gonna be my dresser brushes for sure. The Wedge, the universal flat fluffy brush, perfect for packing on eyeshadow. Okay, so this one I would pack on the shadow like this. Okay, I love all of them. Um, I'm definitely gonna probably be using these more and my tutorials slash get readies with me vlogs um just look at how cute these are and look at the bottom this is gonna look so cute in my little coffin shaped makeup holder all right so my impression of these for sure are they're all very soft um i love the quality of them they are shiny cute and the font of the glam goth beauty name slash logo is so pretty see how some of these work now i'm not gonna be able to probably use all of them today just because i already did a little bit of my foundation i did a little highlight a little tiny little bit of bronzer contour but i'll definitely go in with a flat brush for sure because i'm gonna be um reviewing the beetlejuice glitter because i have the purple black sabbath crop top on and i feel like it'll just pair very well together so go see how that looks okay Oh my god, the packaging is so cute. I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, might keep the boxes because I'm annoying like that. All right, matte lip pencils. Oh, look at how cute the packaging is. Glam Goth Beauty Lip Liner. And look at that like fluorescent color when it hits the light. That looks so pretty. Okay, so I did get two of these, right? Oh, I got three. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I know I bought a lot of things because they, they had a huge sale. So I got three of them. All right, let's see. Which one am I? Okay, Apocalypse. Let's see what Apocalypse is looking like. So I got a few ones to match the liquid lips sticks that I got. I believe Apocalypse is the black one that goes with the black liquid lip, which I've been dying and needing a good one. Um, so I would definitely line my lips with this first before going in with it. I love how smooth and matte this pencil looks. Okay, she's sharp, honey. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to go in with this. I might actually pair that lip with the Beetlejuice glitter today. Love, okay, now the next one I'm gonna be open is Rotten. I think Rotten is more of a red wine color. Girl, it's so hard to do things with nails. The struggle is real. Okay. Yes, Rotten is more of like a red wine color, which I love to outline my lips with and put on a little nude in the middle or a little light pink and some gloss. That's a very cute, like, quick look. If you want to run errands or whatever and you want to have, like, a cute little lip. Okay, and then the next... um shade in her liner I got was damaged and I believe damaged I don't remember what color damages I think it's more of a deeper purple color but let's see oh no damaged is the red one because I got 
Lucky You, which is a red liquid lip, which I've been needing too, girl, because I've been wearing like this really drying formula and it's hard to find formulas that aren't dry but matte that look nice so I had a red and a black one that I was using and I, when I would wear it out the club it would just like crumble up and my lips look really dry and just ratchet so I finally got a nice quality um lip so okay damaged is more of a deeper purple okay see now I know these look similar but they're different so this is rotten and this is damaged i feel like damage is more of a purple color and rotten is more of a wine color let's see yeah you can see the difference see how that one is more brownish and this one is more red this is like, like a dark wine and this is more bright red i'm a sucker for packaging and when people have cute packaging like i don't want to get rid of the box Okay. Damn, these lashes are pretty. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So I got So, I usually stick to like natural lashes, but lately I've been trying wanting to kind of glam it up a little bit and, you know, go for a more fuller dramatic look. So, I said, "You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take advantage of this sale and I'm going to get me some very full eyelashes and these are definitely it i have really small eyes so i'm gonna have to definitely trim these but this is siren wow like look at how nice these look they're so curly and like they look wispy but like full oh these are pretty let's open them up so we can really see and take a look look see how they feel oh they're soft oh these are gorgeous look at these i'm excited to wear these i wanted more of that like curly wispy i love i love wispies i don't know if these are wispies but they look wispy ish to me <laughs> i think that's what drove me in with these um oh i wonder how these are gonna look baby now these i would wear to the club when i want that more dramatic look i would definitely wear to the club but I, I need to start like glamming it up out in public too like if i want to be extra i could be extra i don't only have to be extra at the club i need to embody that that's one of my goals too is to like dress up more and like you know when you look good you feel good self-love but also with me going back to cos school um in january is the plan I definitely gonna am going to be having to have a full beat and my hair done every day. So um, I'm definitely excited for that because when I go back to school full time, I will be leaving my full time job for that and just doing dancing where now I'll be able to actually instead of having to wear like an ugly work uniform, I'll be able to dress cute and have my hair and makeup done every day and like just live beauty and glamour, which I love. So I'm excited for that. Okay, now the Hollywood, these are nice. These give me classic Hollywood vibes, like that old school, like red carpet look. I love that she named them that. Um, now these are very dramatic. I'm a little nervous to see what they look like on me. But uh, first of all, can we talk about how cute this packaging is? How did I not talk about that? Look at the roses on there. Roses are my favorite flowers. Uh, if you know me, you know, and I love the scent of rose. I wear rose essential oil. I will use rose water on my face. I use rose um, lotion. Anything with the fragrance of rose, I absolutely love. It's my favorite. Um, just the rose, the flower, like it just symbolizes sex and glamour and beauty and everything that like I love. So this is a super cute packaging. But these are these are hot for sure. Um, I'm gonna have to, to step it up, step my cookie game up, and wear these. All right, and these are vegan, synthetic, and cruelty-free lashes. So anything that's vegan and cruelty-free, I love that. We are doing that. You know, it sucks that some makeup brands test on animals, and that's sad. I don't I don't want to think about that when I'm putting on that makeup. Okay, now for the liquid lips. I got four of her liquid lips. Damn, girl, I went, I went out. <laughs> Let's see. 
I got Perish, Nightmare, Renegade, and Lucky You. Let's open Lucky You first because I've been dying for a red lip. I think I'm going to wear this red lip this weekend to work um, because the outfit that I'm wearing at the club is like a red lingerie lacy outfit. So I think this red lipstick will pair very well with that. Oh, girl, I'm going to break a nail. How do we do these things with long nails? Okay. Let's see. Oh my God, these are gonna look so pretty on my dresser. Packaging is fire. Look at that shine. This is very sleek, sexy, classy. Oh, love the packaging. Love it, lucky you, okay. Now I know she said that the wand she made bigger so that we could have more product. Okay, I love that. The wand is big. I really like that. Because sometimes when the wand is small, it's harder to scoop up more of the product. But And I love the shape of this too. Now when I go in and apply it, I want to see how that looks. Love the wand. Okay. Next is Nightmare. Now this is the black liquid lip, which I've been needing one. Such a nice packaging. This one's gonna be my favorite, I can tell. So pretty. Look at all the product on there. It looks it looks good. I'm I'm gonna de definitely gonna do um, some swatches and maybe even do it on my lips. I don't wanna waste the product though. So we'll see which I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna open them up first and then um, We'll swatch and apply to see how they look. Did I bring my makeup wipes up here? I think I did in my makeup, saying my makeup bag. All right, Perish. This is more of, I think, like a brown, -ish, a nude-ish color, right? Okay, this is more like an orangey brown. I like that. This looks really pretty on black girls, this color right here. Okay. And then my fourth one Bro, I'm struggling to open the box love the packaging love that like love the fluorescent vibes the black definitely stands out like if you get me with the packaging you get me because the packaging is cute you know I'm getting it marketing baby okay now this one is more brown so i feel like the parish was more pumpkin-y orangey and this is more of a brown color which i like and this is renegade so i'm loving all of i'm um, so far i'm very blown back by the packaging the wand everything these are gonna look very cute on my dresser Okay, now last but not least, my diamonds. And you know what I forgot to get was her diamond primer. <laughs> I ran out of it and like I went crazy and got all excited and got all this stuff. And the one thing I forgot to order was her primer. So I'm gonna have to go back and order some of that. But I do have some regular glare primer that, that'll do. But I really like hers, it, it stays on. Like I put her primer on and I'll go to the club and my glitter does not move. It stays on all night while I'm sweating, dancing, so I definitely want to get more. I'm going to have to order some. Okay. I love the cute little bag. Oh my goodness. Love how cute. See, look how it looks like a diamond. Now, it looks like a little diamond. Her glitters are called diamonds. I love the packaging. This one is the Amorex one. Love and Despair collection. And then this one is the Beetlejuice and this is just which collection is this from? I don't think it's a collection. Oh, the Glamourine Glamour Ween collection. So it was like a Halloween collection she did. And look at how cute. Look at how cute the packaging. Oh my god. Wait till I open it though. The pink is damn. This is giving me very much Paris Hilton Bippo. I'm a Barbie bitch vibes. I'm gonna wear this at the club with the hot pink bikini I own. And then this one is pretty. Like, I would wear this just regularly outside, even in the club, too. But this is going to look cute with my top because it's got the purple in it. And then I got the Divine Fantasy Collection Purgatory. 
and baby i needed me a black um glitter packaging is so cute so i got all three of these glitters they're so adorable what are we gonna get into first let's do some swatches because i don't want to apply a bunch of lipstick on and just to waste it and take it all off so we'll just do small swatches and then i'll wear probably nightmare um with my look that i'm gonna do or i might even use renegade or one of the liners and some gloss we'll see what i'm feeling but let's do some swatches so let's do a swatch of renegade okay this is the applicator this is what the shade is looking like all right i'm gonna apply it right here on my arm um i've never done swatches before it's gonna be my first time i don't know i think you're supposed to go sideways when you do a swatch not up and down so let's do a swatch like that wow this is creamy like i when i applied it on my i could feel how creamy and smooth that is so this is a swatch wait for it to dry of renegade i really like this honestly this is pretty. I would even probably even use it as a liner, like outline my lips with it and maybe do an ombre lip, like outline my lips with this and then put in some pink in there. This is really nice. I like this. I love, I love brown lipstick. It gives me back that like 90s baby vibes when black and like deeper red lipsticks were in. Um, the quality so far, this looks nice. Okay. Lucky you, girl. I've been needing my red lip. Let's see. Let's see. The applicator is very nice. Thick. You can get a lot of product. And she did say a little goes a long way. So these are going to definitely last. Let's do the next swatch. I'm going to go. Whoa. This is. Oof. This is pigmented. This is very pigmented. Look at how bright and beautiful that red is. That's nice. That's bright. That's beautiful. That gives me Marilyn Monroe red lip vibes. This is going to look really nice with my red glitter heels that I have. Very beautiful. Okay. Now let's go in with the swatch Nightmare, the black lipstick. Girl, I've been needing this in my life. Honestly, I've been needing all of this in my life, so it's been a while. I need some new liquid lips because the ones that I have are drying out and ratchet and old. All right, let's see. Let's do a swatch of this one. All right. Okay, she is not lying. A little does go a long way. Um, whoa. Wow. I'm pretty shocked because it's kind of hard to do a black liquid lip. Now, I'm not the best at swatching, so don't judge. I believe there's a certain way you're supposed to swatch, but this is this is very pigmented even on my arm this is on my arm so imagine on my lip like it does not look transparent at all it's still a little shiny because it's wet and it's drying um but she wasn't lying when she said you need to, you only might need one coat now she you might want to do two if you prefer that way um but you don't really need more than one swatch that that's a very pigmented black liquid lip and i feel like liquid black liquid lips are hard like to um get right um i've tried a lot of black liquid lips and they either are grayish looking and they don't they're not pigmented like this like a black liquid lip they look grayish or they crumble and these feel like it's drying up a little bit it doesn't feel dry on me like crunchy and dry all right perish this is pretty i would definitely wear this in the fall for sure this gives me like halloween orangey pumpkin spice vibes all right let's swatch this right here wow so pretty this i love this is a nude but it's like a fallish nude and that's a really pretty really pretty shade i really like that that's gorgeous this will look absolutely beautiful on brown girls. I mean, even more browner than me, obviously. I'm, I'm light skinned, but this would look gorgeous on a girl with a darker complexion, I feel like, especially the brown ones. Yes. 
gorgeous. Um, so far, my reaction to this, let's let it dry, but like, ooh, these aren't going anywhere, honey. I'm gonna let it fully dry. These are very pretty. I'm loving. I chose great colors. Now, let's do a little swatch on my hand for the liners. And I got three different liners, so let's do Damaged, or Apocalypse. Apocalypse is going to be the one that I outline my lips with for the Nightmare Lipstick. Ooh, these are soft and creamy. I love liners that feel creamy and soft like that. Like they don't, like they just go on so smoothly, like it glides. I love that. Rotten. Okay, that's a pretty red. Okay, this one I would probably outline with when I wear Lucky You. Can you see? Okay. I'm like, can you see? Like, y'all go and talk back to me. <laughs> okay, and then Damage. Damage, I will outline my lips with this and put on some gloss. Beautiful. And this is like a red wine color. I love that. Very nice, very creamy, very smooth. And the shades are gorgeous. I'm excited to wear these. All right. So let's get into it. Let's do this glitter. Let's do some lashes because right now I'm looking flat, boring, and basic. All right. <laughs> let's glam it up a bit. All right, guys. So I decided I'm going to go in with Beetlejuice, which is a very pretty blend of like purple and silver glitters. Next, I'm going to take my Mercury Retrograde Palette by Huda Beauty and I'm going to dip into shade Vortex and I'm going to be applying that in my crease and blending it all the way out. It's kind of like a light shade of purple and I'm just really focusing on making sure I blend all that out on both eyelids. Now I'm going to grab my James Charles Palette real quick and I'm going to dip into the deeper shade of purple and I'm applying that in my crease and I'm going ahead and blending that out on both of my eyes okay now i'm going to use this bb glitter primer because this is all i got right now okay applying this onto my eyelids whoa oh, so pretty i want to spill it but look at that look at that beauty Wow. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. I love it. She rocking and they love it. Do y'all see why I stand? Do y'all see why I stand her? Wow. Shook it, bitch. Shook. Shook. Okay. I'm going to apply the lashes off camera because I do have to cut them and trim them to fit my eyes. And then, like, I don't really wear dramatic lashes like that. So, I know it's going to take me a little while, y'all, to get them on. And I don't want to embarrass myself on camera like that. So, which one should I do? I think I'm going to go and do Siren. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I am back, girl. These lashes is big and beautiful. I am serving you up Gia full drag, and I mean that in the best way. I love RuPaul's Drag Race, so, like, they're definitely big, they're bold and dramatic. Like, I don't think I would normally wear these kind of lashes but i'm glad that i tried it i think i'm just gonna have to trim them up a little bit um to kind of fit the frame of my eyes a little better but the glitters super pigmented now i didn't have much primer so you know it didn't do it as much justice but this glitter is absolutely gorgeous i love it um now let's go in with a lip let's see i think i'm gonna align my lips with damaged i'm a beginner when it comes to these big and bold lashes okay <clears throat> just 
so uh, let's line our lips. some gloss this is a elf lip plumping gloss and champagne glam that's the shade and as you see i'm running low because i'll be using a lot of her and it plumps the lips which i have an appointment for lip filler in july i'm so excited end of july the injector that i'm going to she has been booked for a month so i literally booked this appointment while well back in may Okay, ooh, love that shine. I'm giving you Pamela Anderson lip with Beetlejuice glittery vibes. This is the final look, you guys. What do you think? Yes, honey. I will leave all of her information in the description box below. So if you guys want to check out any of her makeup, I feel like she has a little bit of... um you know makeup for everybody i mean she's got you don't have to be goth and alternative to wear her stuff i mean she's got shades like lucky you and parish which are your classic nudes and your reds that you know everyone kind of wears and even if really more natural girls she's got them nudes in there i love everything that i got and i hope you enjoyed it see you in my next video bye